All right, so now we're going to look at the equation of a plane. All right, now we've already done equations of lines, right? We did equations of lines, and the equation of a line looked like this. It was something where I had my line was going to be equal to some sort of starting point, right? Because I had just some vector uh, a, and then it was added to some parameter times vector b. And the point of that was that then gave us our initial point from 0, right, which was our vector a. And then from there, I added vector b as many times as I wanted to, as big or small as I wanted to, and that then defined every single point. So these could be positive b's or parts of b's. These could be the negative ones. And so it then defined this line. Correct? Now, that was the vector equation of a line, but what is a plane? Well, a plane is just a line that has been repeated an infinite number of times in a new dimension. So just taking this and moving it over and over and over again. So I can go from my origin to A to get a point. I can then go in the B direction to create a line, and now I just need one other vector, some other vector that is not on AB, and that's important, it cannot be on the line AB, but any other vector, whether it be this direction, or whether it be coming out of the page, or you know, in a mixture, so that vector right there, vector C, again with some type of parameter so, so that I can take that and move it in that direction and see can now cover any, any point in three-dimensional space um, on this plane because it has to fit with the A, it has to fit with the B, it also has to fit with the C. And so I can only get to points that, that can be reached through these three vectors. And so the equation of a plane is actually going to be quite simple. It's going to be very similar to what we had but now we're going to say, well, now I need one more parameter and one more vector. And that's the equation of a plane. All right? So let's uh, try an example. All right? So let's say that I've got a plane that contains a point, right? So we've got point A, which would then be x y, z, and then I've got point R, which has points, let's just say x2, y2, z2. All right, and 